war. War never changes. What is up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. So a few days ago, I had put up a post on this channel's Facebook page asking if anyone would be interested in seeing a video in which I discuss my favorite films of all time, and it got enough uh, it got enough interest that I decided it would be a worthwhile video. So that's what I will be doing for you guys today. Now, as always, if you guys do enjoy this video, don't don't forget to leave a like down below as it helps my videos appear higher in the search results which in turn gets my video more views. Also, leave a comment letting me know what your list of all-time favorite films are. Now, without further delay, let's get started in no particular order. First on the list is, of course, Pulp Fiction from director Quentin Tarantino, starring Bruce Willis, Samuel L. Jackson, John Travolta, and Uma Thurman. Saying the name, saying the name Uma always reminds me of Uma from The Witcher 3, so thanks for that, CD Projekt Red. But anyway... One of the many things I love so much about this film is that it tells the story of five chief characters in a time-shifted plot structure. Now, this isn't a new concept. Many films have attempted to do this before, but in my opinion, Pulp Fiction is the only film to do it flawlessly. And since then, many films have tried to copy it. All of the star-studded cast performed admirably here, and the story as well as this entire film is so captivating that it has been and is still being remembered and introduced to new generations of fans to this day. Second is Reservoir Dogs, also from Quentin Tarantino, starring Tim Roth, who is a phenomenal actor by the way, Michael Madsen, the guy from Free Willy, for those of you who may not be familiar with him, Steve Buscemi, and Harvey Cattell. This is, in my opinion, the best in a long line of bank robber movies, and one of the many things I like so much about it is that it is unique in that it tells the story of a bank robbery without actually showing the robbery scene itself, if that makes any sense. Um, the acting is superb, the story is captivating, and each character in the film is unique and interesting in their own way. So, uh, yeah, just an overall a really, really good film. Third is Scarface from director Brian De Palma, starring Al Pacino. This film tells the story of a Cuban, of a Cuban immigrant who comes to America with nothing, stakes a claim on the drug trade in Miami, and goes straight to riches only to lose it all by the end. This, to me, is the best performance in Al Pacino's career, and even though he did very well in The Godfather, I've always kind of been preferable to Scarface. Um, this is one of the few films that will pump you up so much that you'll actually be rooting for Tony Montana all the way through, regardless of how shitty of a person his character actually is. Fourth, I have Ready Player One from Steven Spielberg, starring Olivia Cook, Ty Sheridan, and Ben Mendelsohn, I believe. I hope I pronounced his name right. Um, this was a film that I had originally intended to review, I just never really got around to it. And uh, it's become one of my favorites uh, since I first saw it in theaters. This film is like all of my favorite things in one, and uh, I never get tired of watching it. Special effects are amazing, the casting is splendid, and the story kept me hooked all the can be hooked all the way through uh so i mean it's just really really good and it's actually the most recent film on the list now finally seven from david fincher starring brad pitt morgan freeman and kevin spacey one of the best in my opinion one of the best crime thriller slash drama films ever made this tells the story of an unnamed serial killer known only as john doe who essentially he just he murders not only murders but he just brutally tortures and just outright does this really horrible horrendous uh shit to various different victims within the course of the film based around the seven deadly sins and manages to actually and this film actually manages to make you question whether or not you agree with him in the end because uh, there are many reasons why he actually does what he does to the different victims of his throughout the course of the movie. So, I mean, you, it actually ends up making you kind of question, you know, if you can see merit or otherwise justification in what he did. Okay, so that's it, guys. Those are the five films I actually managed to uh, put at the top of my list uh, of all-time favorites. But before I end the video, let's take a look at some honorable mentions that are also in my list but didn't make it to the top five. 
The original Star Wars trilogy, consisting of episodes 4, 5, and 6. Star Wars Rogue One. The Lord of the Rings trilogy. Fight Club. And The Grapes of Wrath. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if so, as previously stated, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and take care.